Hi, JD here again. Um, this is a break from my most recent videos where I've been talking about my BMW M140 um, because I posted a video a couple of years ago, no, actually maybe about a year ago, showing the Tekina 11-16 f2.8 lens on the Sony a7S. Um, but somebody uh, the other day asked if I would produce a similar video, but this time showing the uh, Tekina lens in the a7S as crop mode. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment, as you can see, I'm just looking up at my Atomos recorder at the moment, I'm recording the um, actual output from the camera um, so you can see all the settings and the menu and everything. Um, and I will go in and out of the crop mode periodically. Um, but at the moment, as you can see, um, we've got serious amount of vignetting because I'm in um, full frame mode. Um, at 11 millimeters. So just a bit of a recap, this lens is usable on a full frame camera from about 14 and a half millimeters. Let's just go through the zoom range just to see when that vignetting disappears in full frame mode. So at the moment, just looking at the lens, that's 11 millimeters. That is 12 millimeters. 13 millimeters, still a little bit of vignetting going on. 14 millimeters, 15 millimeters, can't even speak, 15 millimeters. And I would say that that's looking pretty good. And 16 millimeters. Okay, now I am at f5.6, so that might be helping. So what I'll do, let's just back off to about where the vignetting appears. That's 14 mil, and let's just go to f2.8 as well. Not sure that's going to make any difference at all. 2.8. Can't really see. Ah, you can see the vignetting is going. That's interesting. So f8 look, we've actually got, let's go to f11. So we've got no vignetting at f11 that I can see. There might be a tiny bit. Drop down to f2.8 you are getting a bit. So what about if we go to 13? Yeah, you're not gonna get rid of that because you're seeing the inside of the lens, but let's just increase that. Yeah, we're getting rid of it, but you can still see at the top corner um, that vignetting from the full frame. But anyway, let's just drop it down to f5.6 again. Um, so that is back to 11 millimeters. So now what I'll do, if I can try and work my menu in reverse, because I'm having to lean around the back of the camera, let's put it into crop mode and see what 11 millimeter looks like um, in from a field of view perspective. So I'll try and work this. Menu, um, now, I'm going to find where uh, crop mode is. Let's just go through all the menus. Uh, somewhere around here, we should see APS-C mode, hopefully. There we go. So let's go into there. Look, APS-C size capture is currently off. Let's put it to on. Okay, now let's come out of the menu. There we go. So that is now 11 millimeters in crop mode. Okay, so 11 millimeters in crop mode. Let's just turn that off again. And that's 11 millimeters in full frame mode. Okay, let's now try 16 millimeters in full frame and crop. So 16 mil, perfectly usable um, in full frame mode. Let's put it into crop mode. And there you go, a little bit out of focus, I would say. So that's 16 millimeters in APS-C. So that's gonna give you what? 16 times 1.6, what's that gonna be? 26, 27, 28 mil, something like that. And that's back to 11 millimeters in crop mode. So that's gonna give you probably about an equivalent full frame of about 17 mil. So I would say, let's just see for checking purposes, this is 11 millimeters in crop mode. Let's compare that. 
I can find the wheel to 16 mil in full frame. So you probably won't see a lot of difference. In fact, what I'll do, let's put them side by side in the edit. Okay, so this is currently um, 16 mil in full frame. And what I would do is I'll put 16 mil full frame against 11 mil in crop mode. And let's see what that works like. I hope that was interesting. Um, thanks for watching. As always, please comment below, please share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.